So in the 2008 NBA Finals, when the Boston Celtics beat the Los Angeles Lakers, a Journey song blasted out over the loudspeakers and the entire Boston crowd sung out, Don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling. So Kobe Bryant of the Lakers was so haunted by this experience. He listened to Don't Stop Believing every day for the next two years. And this is how I think song can be sharpened into a knife. Misery and memory, just minor chords in the same chorus. As a kid who grew up singing in church choir, I've always understood human sorrow to be the most primitive form of music. From the hymns sung at my grandmother's funeral to my nephew screaming his way into this world, a baby testing the limits of his lungs, and a family howling the suffering of a life lost. This is how we give joy and pain a name. And lately, I'm feeling like Kobe, not a different animal and the same beast, but I've got so many melodies marking all of my failures, so many songs that are just sorrow made solid, and my depression feels like a shitty radio DJ with a needle stuck on replay, and my ears hold on to that feeling. It's just that life seems more real when you can hear it, you know? When each song is a stained glass shank, and yesterday's decisions are demons riding the record player's needle, that beat is just a box cutter asking the thin skin on your wrist to dance. And a lot of days I get so tired of hearing and feeling my heart bleed that I, if I had the guts to rip my ears out and cut my heart off, I would. And a lot of days, when my belief in living is just a guitar string snapping under the strain, there are so many days when I dream in that tune of suicide and wonder if the belt around my waist could one day be a ballad around my neck, or if the ocean will be an opera cracking its way into my throat, or if jumping off an apartment building roof into a rock anthem will be the last song this skin sings. I have made a playlist with the ways I've considered dying over the past month, but today, that song is my tongue, balancing the ways it has survived. So I shut up and I listen to the sounds of my nephews still testing the limits of their lungs and the sound of my family not at my funeral howling the suffering of a life worth living. So on days when I'm considering suicide, I sing the way blood has left my body and I hum the way my body has made more. I fit a new string on that battered guitar called Belief, and I play this song of one more day. See, the thing I've learned about the journey is that it isn't even about believing. It's about having the courage not to stop. So don't stop, believe. Don't stop, don't stop.